So just about ready to begin on the pitch here. It is incredibly hot in the desert right now. About 95 degrees from Phoenix Rising FC Soccer Complex in Tempe. But they will play. We'll see some hydration breaks. But we are off here in the desert between Phoenix Rising and the Colorado Springs switchbacks. They give too much room to drop, but he will make you pay. A foul there. Looks like it's called on Taesong Kim, the South Korean national. Through pass, looking for draw, but instead they'll find Gavin. A lot of power there. The fans were excited, but we'll see a goal kick coming up here for switchback. When the ball was played. A big hit. Here's a strike on goal. Colorado Springs takes an early lead off a goal from Kevon Freider. It seems like Phoenix Rising is missing in a big way Sean Wright Phillips, who has really been the key to setting things up and helping out Drogba and Bravo. This could be a big mistake. Switchbacks in the box. What a save from Josh Cohen. Shot taken by Eddie Prue. Good double team there defensively. Burton and McFarlane combining to take the ball off the foot of Drogba. Forward pass, here's Josh Suggs. The cross behind him in the box. Shot from Cashier is just wide. But Colorado Springs has looked excellent in the first now 30 plus minutes of this match. Very dangerous on the counter attack. So here from the left flank, will it be Suggs? No, it'll be Cashier and Cohen is there. Should be another corner kick for Colorado Springs. It's hot, it's wet, and we're playing. The shot taken, Cohen is there, and that was actually very similar to what we saw Drogba do in the first couple minutes of the first half. So here come the switchbacks. Named, of course, for Pikes Peak, how you come down. Here's Burt, takes a shot. What a sensational save from Josh Cohen. A leap into the air to make the grab and prevent this match from getting away from Phoenix Rising. Fantastic shot with the right foot from the switchbacks. Another cross, this time looking for Drogba, but McFarlane is there and clears it away for the moment. So here's Avila. Could have been a dive. Avila takes a shot. I love the way when Cashier re receives the ball, watch how he squares up his defender. He's always looking to dribble the ball 1v1. Bandito's making some noise. Along with the Red Fury. That ball loose for a moment. Will that count from Jason Johnson? It looks like it'll stand. The equalizer in the 66th minute from Jason Johnson. The substitute from Happy News Jamaica. And the Banditos have some happy news here in the desert. Tied at one apiece. That back line of Phillips and McFarlane have done a really good job of winning the ball pretty cleanly in the box. So Avila just a short pass. Now he'll cross it in. A lot of power. Shot right at Puati who makes a spectacular catch to keep this at one apiece. But McFarland did go to college here in the U.S., FIU. He also came to America earlier. The header goes in! Johnson yet again puts Phoenix Rising on top with just minutes remaining in this contest. Phoenix has battled its way back behind Jason Johnson. For you folks, whether you're watching from Colorado Springs, in uh, Mountain Time, or uh, Phoenix says, here's Johnson looking for the hat trick, gives it up. But here's a boot from Poiti, figure maybe about a minute to go. You're going to start hearing some chants from the Banditos, the Red Fury, to end this match, but certainly with some of the time wasting. There's a shot, Cohen is there, it's a little bit tricky, ended up being just wide of the net. Didier Drogba has joined the squad, and 
for head coach Patrice Carterone and everything they've gone through. Four straight draws. They finally got the three points they were after. They haven't gotten since they faced Whitecaps FC2 on June 10th.